Hello? 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 I have this guitar out here because, um, oh, well, some people have been discussing on one of my other videos. Um, uh, basically, it, it's a different discussion, but to me it's about, it, it all ties into what, what a guitar is worth. And... Um, <laughs> So I, I pulled this one out because this this is a you know this is a Squire um, by Fender and uh, it, it to me if it is licensed by Fender, they should I probably do a little bit better job because when I got this guitar it was I mean seriously I couldn't play it because, and it's I can still feel it right here but I I oh my God with the with the huh, you know uh, sanding everything down with the files because oh my God the fret ends were just mm. like seriously. It was it was painful to, to slide your, your fingers up and down, and it's like, hold on a minute, wait a minute, what's going on here? This is licensed by Fender, and they're made in some of the same factories where all this other cheap stuff is. So it's like, why is this one with their name on it? Why is it so? Why isn't it more? Why isn't it more finished? And um, and I asked that because then I started getting other guitars, you know, from other places, and and they with names that nobody's heard of and they seem to do way better like this uh this iyv you know these things are this the, i've got uh what two three of these and they're amazing and it's like when they put these out for such less money that it's it's ridiculous you know and there i do have you know this is not this is not real this is a chipson um and i paid less than 200 dollars for this but but is it you know as a guitar it is an amazing guitar because it plays super well and there are things on here where you, it would make you question if it's a real gibson just by looking at it but not to the point where you would go yeah to me it was like is this like a factory second or something why was it so cheap because you know the guitar as a guitar itself is a good guitar it just is branded as gibson and it's not and the only way i could i found out was because gibson's when you take the truss rod cover off gibson real gibson's have a nut inside of them for adjustment this one has just like everything else you got to get your your allen wrench and get that sucker in there and you know um do all that uh, um but the, and so that that's one of the main reasons i knew it wasn't um, a Gibson, but um, there are also, I've seen people out there that have taken them apart and they actually are Gibsons. So it's like, what goes on in those factories over there? You know, it's like, I don't know. And, and I'm never gonna sell this as an actual Gibson because I know it's not, and I'm not gonna, you know, I, I would never, I, I, I paid, like I said, I paid less than $200 for this thing. It, and I've seen that, that there are, there are schools of thought that since they are good guitars, they are like four or five hundred dollar guitars, but you know, um, for me, I, I for me, it's a, it's an amazing wall decoration right now. I bought this clock, and it's a, they look exactly the same, so it's it's cool for me. So, and I take it down to play every once in a while to see how it sounds, and you know, to just you know play it goes. All my guitars, I, I would like to you know be able to play, and so I do. Um, but uh, my question is. Why, where where is this you know where how 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 come fender and gibson it's just a name and how come their prices keep skyrocketing and if this if this just as a guitar is a four or five hundred dollar guitar as just a basic guitar and you took out the name that that's on there erroneously you know and this was just sold as a guitar and it's worth four or five hundred dollars and it is comparable to a les paul how do they charge three or four thousand dollars for them i don't get it that's my question so you know and that's why i've started doing this myself and that's why you know with these with the glary man that's why i freaking love these things because to me all i want is i'm not i'm not a good work woodworker i'm still trying to, to learn this stuff so all i really want is a good body and a good neck and a good neck you know that's why i said why am i going out and looking at at all these guitars with um or all these necks when well, you know they're charging like 60 70 80 dollars just for a neck and then these things are coming with perfectly good necks why don't i just buy one of these then the neck is cheaper and you know it's the same thing so it's i th this is my question is like 
I, almost like what is reality, you know? Because if they're charging that much money, it definitely is, re definitely is reality. But if you can get a guitar that plays exactly the same, where I don't understand, you know? And this might be the chemo, and it might be my spiritual awakening, whatever, and whatever. But it's just questions that I have, and and I kind of like to continue that debate if we can, you know. So uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment this time more than there. Yeah, I usually ask for subscriptions, but this one I kind of really would like some some comments because I kind of don't understand. And to me, it's like that's why I want to do this. That's why I want to study being a luthier because. Um, to me, building guitars is just amazing. And there are people out there who are doing it with recycled wood, with, you know, just a, a <clears throat> stuff that they find on the side of the road. I, I saw a dude build one out of a shelf. He literally took it off his wall during the middle of COVID and said, let's build a, a guitar and built a guitar out of a shelf that he took off his wall. It was super cool. Um, but yeah, if you can make guitars that are just as good yourself, you, I don't understand the price differences, I guess, is what I'm asking. So... Uh, if we could debate that, that would be cool. I mean, that that's kind of why I'm here. I want to figure this all this stuff out. So, you know, if anybody has any any ideas on that, you know, is it just the name? I mean, am I paid? I mean, why would I just pay for a name then? I mean, if I find a guitar that plays just as well and sounds just as good, what the heck? You know, well, why am I going to pay three or four or five thousand dollars when I can get one that sounds just as well for two hundred dollars? Seems silly to me, but but that it seems like it's societally acceptable, and I just it's weird to me, just super weird. Anyway, I hope you all is having a great day. And uh, if you all, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Always look up. He's there for you. And I'll see you then. Peace.